Vitamins are a group of organic molecules that are needed for normal cell function, growth, and development. Vitamins can be further classified into fat-soluble and water-soluble vitamins. Fat-soluble vitamins include vitamins A, D, E, and K, all of which are isoprenoid compounds synthesized by the condensation of multiple isoprene subunits. Vitamins A and D serve as hormone precursors. Vitamin A1, also known as retinol, functions as a neuronal signal in vision and the maintenance of epithelial tissue. Vitamin A deficiency leads to blindness, skin disorders, and decreased immunity. Vitamin D3, also known as colocalciferol, is a precursor to the hormone calcitriol that regulates the absorption and use of calcium and phosphorus. Deficiency of vitamin D3 leads to rickets in children and bone softening in adults. Vitamin E is the collective name for a group of closely related lipids called tocopherols, which function as antioxidants and components of the cell membrane. Vitamin E deficiency in humans is very rare. The principal symptom is nervous system degeneration or fragile erythrocytes, or red blood cells. Vitamin K has two major forms, vitamin K1, phyloquinone, which is found in green plant leaves, and vitamin K2, manaquinone, which is formed by bacteria living in the vertebrate intestine. The aromatic ring of vitamin K undergoes a cycle of oxidation and reduction during the formation of active prothrombin, a blood plasma protein essential in blood clotting. Vitamin K deficiency leads to subdermal hemorrhage as blood clotting is impaired. Water-soluble vitamins include the vitamin B complex and vitamin C. Vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid, is derived from sugar nucleotides and play an important role in collagen synthesis and as antioxidant. Vitamin C deficiency leads to scurvy disease and delayed wound healing. The vitamin B complex functions as coenzymes, including vitamin B1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 9, and 12. In my previous video on enzymes, I've talked about the concept of hollow enzyme, which refers to the optimally active enzyme that consists of the protein portion of apoenzyme enzyme and the non-protein portion of cofactors. Cofactors can be further classified into organic cofactors known as coenzymes and inorganic anions. Vitamin B1, also known as thiamine, is converted to its active form thiamine pyrophosphate or TPP in our body. It functions as a coenzyme in three main types of reactions. TPP transfers aldehyde groups during oxidative decarboxylation reactions, catalyzed by pyruvate dehydrogenase, alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase, and branched-chain amino acid dehydrogenase. The mechanism of this reaction has been covered in my previous video on the fates of pyruvate. Vitamin B1 also transfers aldehyde group in anaerobic decarboxylation catalyzed by the yeast enzyme pyruvate decarboxylase, the first step in alcoholic fermentation. Lastly, TPP facilitates 2-carbon transfer during transketolase reaction, which is a part of the pentose phosphate pathway and the Calvin cycle. Vitamin B1 deficiency causes a disease known as beriberi. There are two types of beriberi. Wet beriberi affects cardiovascular system, eventually leads to heart failure, whereas dry beriberi affects the nervous system, eventually leads to muscle paralysis. Vitamin B2, also known as riboflavin, facilitates electron transfer in metabolic reactions. Vitamin B2 is the precursor of two important coenzymes. The first is flavin adenine diphosphate, abbreviated as FAD. In my video on biological oxidation and reduction, I mentioned that oxidative degradation reactions are often coupled to the reduction of FAD to FADH2. FADH2 is a high-energy compound that stores energy, which would be harvested during oxidative phosphorylation to generate ATP. Oxidative degradation reactions that are coupled to the reduction of FAD include azo-CoA dehydrogenase, which catalyzes the initial step of fatty acid beta oxidation. Succinate dehydrogenase, or complex 2 of the electron transport chain, participates in both the citric acid cycle and oxidative phosphorylation, oxidizing succinate to fumarate. FAD is also a prosthetic group of the enzymes involved in oxidative decarboxylation mentioned earlier. Another important derivative of vitamin B2 is flavin mononucleotide, abbreviated as FMN. Flavin mononucleotide is a prosthetic group of complex 1 of the electron transport chain, also known as NADH dehydrogenase. 
in which the oxidation of NADH to NAD plus is coupled to the reduction of FMN to FMNH2. The electrons in FMNH2 is subsequently passed into the iron sulfur center, then to coenzyme Q, generating free energy that pumps four protons out of the inner mitochondrial membrane that will later be harvested by ATP synthase through oxidative phosphorylation. Vitamin B2 deficiency leads to chylitis or lip inflammation, dermatitis or skin inflammation, and stomatitis or mouth inflammation. Vitamin B3, also known as niacin, also facilitates electron transfer and metabolic reactions. Niacin is the precursor of two important coenzymes. The first is niacin adenine dinucleotide, or NAD+. Like FAD, NAD+, serves as an energy carrier, in which various oxidative degradation reactions are coupled to the reduction of NAD+, to NADH, including glyceraldehyde-3-phosphate dehydrogenase from glycolysis, pyruvate dehydrogenase, isocitrate dehydrogenase, alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase, and malate dehydrogenase from the citric acid cycle, and 3 hydroxy coa from beta-oxidation of fatty acid. NADH generated from these reactions are subsequently oxidized to NAD plus by complex 1 of the re-electron transport chain to generate free energy. The second important derivative of vitamin B3 is niacin dinucleotide phosphate, or NADP+. Unlike NAD+, which mainly participates in catabolic or degradative reactions, NADP+, mainly participates in anabolic or biosynthetic reactions. Several biosynthetic reactions are coupled to the oxidation of NADPH to NADP+, including beta enol acp reductase and beta keto acp reductase from fatty acid synthesis, HMG-CoA reductase from cholesterol synthesis, and ribonucleotide reductase from nucleotide synthesis. NADPH also participates in detoxification reactions including cytochrome P450 and glutathione peroxidase. The synthesis of NADPH has also been covered in my previous video on high energy compounds. Vitamin B3 deficiency leads to pellagra that causes skin inflammation, diarrhea, dementia, and mouth sores. Vitamin B5, also known as pentothenic acid, is a precursor to coenzyme A, abbreviated as CoA. Coenzyme A functions as acyl group carrier, transporting carbon atoms during oxidative decarboxylation reactions catalyzed by pyruvate dehydrogenase, alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase, and branch chain amino acid dehydrogenase as mentioned before. Coenzyme A may also function as acyl group carrier for acyl-CoA synthetase during beta oxidation of fatty acid. Besides coenzyme A, vitamin B5 is also a precursor to acyl carrier protein, or ACP, required for fatty acid synthesis. Deficiency of vitamin B5 will result in fatigue, numbness, and tingling of hands. Vitamin B6, also known as pyridoxin, is converted to its active form pyridoxal 5-phosphate, or PLP, in our body. PLP transfer amino groups in various reactions in amino acid metabolism including amino transferases, serine anthionine dehydratases, serine hydroxymethyl transferases or SHMT, cystathione B synthase or CBS, cystathione gamma lyase or CTH, and amino acid decarboxylases. Deficiency in vitamin B6 leads to irritability, convulsion, and muscular twitching. Vitamin B7, also known as biotin, facilitates carbon dioxide fixation and carboxylases converting pyruvate to oxaloacetate during gluconeogenesis, acetyl-CoA to melanyl-CoA during fatty acid biosynthesis, propanyl-CoA to dimethylmelanyl-CoA during ketogenic amino acid and all-chain fatty acid catabolism. Deficiency in vitamin B7 results in skin inflammation and neuromuscular disorders. Vitamin B9, also known as dihydrofolate or FH2, facilitates one carbon transfer and nitrogen metabolism. N-time formal tetrahydrofolate serves as a precursor to purine. 5-10-methylneo tetrahydrofolate serves as a methyl donor to DUMP, converting it to DTMP. N-5-methyl tetrahydrofolate is a substrate of methionine synthase, converting homocysteine to methionine. Vitamin B9 deficiency in pregnant women would lead to neurotube birth defect known as spina bifida in newborns. Vitamin B12, also known as cobalamin, participates in two different reactions. It serves as a 1-carbon donor in methionine synthase mentioned just a moment ago. 
Cobalamin also plays a role in intramolecular rearrangement in L-methylmalonyl-CoA mutase. Converting L-methylmalonyl-CoA to succinyl-CoA during isoleucine and valine catabolism. Deficiency in vitamin B12 leads to anemia, numbness, and loss of balance. Not all coenzymes are from the vitamin B complex. Some non-vitamin coenzymes include lipoamide, which serves as acyl group carrier during oxidative decarboxylation reactions. Biopterin or BH4 serves as a coenzyme for amino acid hydroxylases which are involved in neurotransmitter biosynthesis, including tyrosine from phenylalanine, DOPA from tyrosine, and 5'-hydroxytryptophan from tryptophan. Lastly, several metal cations serve as inorganic cofactors. The ferrous ion binds oxygen in heme of the red blood cell and cytochrome of the electron transport chain. The magnesium cation serves as a cofactor for ATP in kinases and phosphatases. The manganese cation serves as a cofactor for arginase in arginine catabolism and ribonuclease reductase, or RNR, which converts ribonucleotides to deoxyribonucleotides. The zinc cation serves as a cofactor in alcohol dehydrogenase in yeast and carbonic anhydrase, or CAH, during bicarbonate formation. The potassium cation serves as a cofactor for pyruvate kinase, which converts phosphoenolpyruvate to pyruvate during glycolysis. The molybdenum ion serves as a cofactor in dinitrogenase, which catalyzes the reduction of nitrogen to ammonium during the nitrogen cycle. The copper cation functions as a cofactor for cytochrome C oxidase, or complex 4 of the electron transport chain, transferring electron from higher potential to lower potential.